How blessed are we today? It's such a scary <laughs> position for Thunder. who are the ones making the shot here. They're making the call. They do not have the buybacks, but they do have an Aegis. They have this overwhelming advantage for the next team fight. But if they stumble here just before the finish line, it could be all over so quick. Dark Mago jumps forward. But the Venom bought out. He bought out for AC. He has short buyback on the way. Oh, there's the hook. The oh. first snap. They're trying to deal with this ward. And it oh, ends why? up getting a freebie. Now it's a four versus five. Four versus six with the Aegis. Mickey. Rolling Thunder, here it comes. Mickey leading off the charge. Gotta make it count. Zod getting passed. And you on in. You got Bash on in. Immediately the Bash going in. And now the Walrus punch as well. But the BKB, it's running out. Now he's got the flash. He's going to get Bash again. Oh, that's going to be a dive back in. Pagaz is in so deep. But Top and Man needs it out. His rage was running thin. So he invests inside of Zai. But now Zai's in trouble. He's being focused out. Top and Man pops right back out. They have the refresher. And they net. It's going to be enough to be able to finish off a Top and Man. But he doesn't have the buyback. Foxy, he's going in. Get back to the fountain, the Havoc Hammer pushing him away. But Pagaz is running him down, the Bloodstone gets up. Rampage. Rampage on the mid-stage. Pagaz, Matumba Man caught the buyback. Pagaz is going to dive once, maybe twice. Nobody else. It's Dark Mago and Pagaz. Pagaz is going to dive once, maybe twice. Nobody else. It's just Dark Mago and Pagaz. Nobody else. It's just Dark Mago and Pagaz. It's just because a 2-1-2. Two, two, two courts. A blink away. The Rolling Thunder doesn't land. Can they escape? Does Liquid want to pursue? Do they have to? Insania now joining in with them. Dark Mago is going to try and deal with him where he can. The Breezing Field going out with the Sun. The situation for liquid can they do they it just walk it down mid walk down mid lane a click the throne are liquid going to be able to do it fast enough you know what tumble was like a hundred gold off buyback in that fight yeah he got it up as because it's in the base melting them all you could not ask oh for anything God. closer so many of those fights too sacred blinked in and got insta bash first hit then he got abyssal bashed off the swashbuckle radiance the dota gods did not want that black hole going off and it might just pay the final price here for thunder in their upper bracket they were a little bracket a little luck i don't even know what bracket a, long way. a little luck is a pretty good strategy in this game black hole up in nine it's got to be the one of a lifetime they still have glyph okay we have glyphs how much does liquid want to push it He's going to heal up as much as possible. Black hole ready to go. We have this Marcy who does a ton of damage. We talked about how much far Matthew was getting. Can he, with Sacred, stop this? Or can they delay stall enough for the rest of the team to show up? And the, the Undying's going to be here. I think this is going to have to be up. Remember, they get another flip here, too. If they don't go soon, though, it's going to be the Leshrac joining them as well, a three on five. This is a hard fight. You have to pick your jump well. You have to hit the with the ball. Sacred goes for it. If he can leave the ball, they're just going to focus all in onto Mickey. And it looks like maybe they got him down. Oh, he's inside. Swatch will go over the rolling thunder. I'll throw them. Mickey surviving through it. And now the Marcy dies. And now they get the stun on the Sacred. Now it's he's not at 12. 12 seconds. How much can you get in 12 seconds, Liquid? Can you claim top four in five? It's not going to happen. The throat's not dying fast enough. Dark Lyra's up there. Killed him. Him one. Back in. Now the buybacks. Now the comeback. So right for your the throw die fast. What does it help? Trying to finish up. T it. Absolutely insane from Liquid. Can you believe it? A tragedy. A triumph. A curse. A miracle. Call it what you want. But it is Team Liquid taking top four. Team Liquid is going to the finals of the International. Going to the finals. They still got some ways to go, but they're going to that final weekend. I mean, how many carries does it take to break this Thunder team? You have to give it to them. The cause might be the best carry in the world right now, but Team Liquid just playing on another level in these end games. Every single little thing seemed like it was going their way down the clutch. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what is there to say about There's a series so much like that? emotion here from Team Liquid celebrating their victory to Thunder. Oh, Thunder. A top four was so close. It was in their grasp. What an incredible game. What an incredible series.
respect to both the competitors for just an outrageous series. No Team buybacks. <laughs> no, no buybacks. Sometimes that's what Dota comes down to. Sometimes a little luck too, you know? I'm starting to believe in that spirit mantra a little bit more every game at this tournament. Some of those bashes, some of those hits, man. You're going to be thinking about those years later from now. But Team Liquid, they're not going to be thinking about them for too long because, of course, they do get the rest days to go into that final playoff bracket, like you said. My God, the momentum this team has. The amount of times they've been pushed to the brink from LCQ to this, to game one, Mega Creep losing, to game three on the edge. Incredible, incredible series. Team Liquid will move on. I'll just leave you with this. Dota is a goddamn beautiful game. Love it.